Hey guys, Nabil from Toe Pass, hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta and it's right here behind me. And it's not in a normal color, it's in Rosso Dino. And it's one of those colors that you don't really see on these cars specifically. Uh, you get to see them a lot more on the classic cars, but it looks really good on this car. But fortunately, when the car was new, it didn't have any protection film put onto the car. So it's a lovely color, but it wasn't protected. So the customer's brought the car in, he wants it to be absolutely perfect uh, and to be like new condition, actually better than new condition. And I'll, let me go through exactly what's gonna happen over here. So, as I said, the car's been driven, it's had a good life, it's, it's, been, it's not been sitting in the garage. Um, now, the only thing that we are gonna be doing as soon as the car comes in, we check to make sure that the paintwork, you know, if there are any defects, report to the customer. Unfortunately, we found quite a few defects. We had some chips on the rear quarter sections. We had some chips on the front bonnet, uh, uh, front bumper, I believe, also, which is right here next to me. And let me show you what I mean by chips and things like that. So this, this uh, bumper is already being worked on. That's why it's matte. So we already started to sand it down and prepare it for paint. But if you have a look at, for example, things like this, where it's actually a, uh, a little white dot. That white dot obviously was a stone chip. So we put filler in there, fill it up. Another couple of dots here as well, and here as well. And again, this is exactly the type of thing that we'd have to repair um, before we start applying our paint protection form, before we detail it, and really invest the time in making sure it's perfect. Because the customer actually wants it perfect, it's, um, it only deserves to make sure that's absolutely perfect, including paintwork. So we're gonna paint a couple of items. The painting process is actually a bit more difficult because you actually have the stencils right that are on the front bumper and also on the bonnet. Uh, and there's actually some chips on the gray as well. So it adds a bit of a element of difficulty when you're doing this kind of project. But it's one of those things, we've done these so many times, we know what we're doing with it, so it's, it's not a problem. Uh, and we're experienced enough to know what to do and what not to do. So once the car's been repaired in terms of paintwork, we're then gonna be doing a, a level five treatment. So we're actually gonna be sanding down every single panel to make sure that the, the, the paintwork, the uppermost surface of the paintwork is absolutely level and making sure that it's perfectly in you know, the reflections are absolutely spot on. So yeah, so I think you're gonna enjoy this one and I'll catch up with you at the end, but make sure to keep your eyes peeled, get the popcorn ready. So as I hinted to you earlier, the first stage is to sand each panel on the car in preparation for the paintwork. This step is crucial as it allows fresh paint to set properly on the panels. At this stage, we also add small amount of filler to any stone chips or defects in the paint to allow us to guarantee any repairs we have made and are completely smooth and level. There's no point in painting over stone chips if there's still going to be a dip in the paint where it was. The car is now moved to our spray booth and the panels to be painted are masked around, leaving no opportunity for overspray on the car. Several layers of the Rossodino paint are then sprayed onto the panels. Our spray booth is kept as a controlled environment with state-of-the-art filters to reduce the chance of any contamination when spraying. However, if our painters do notice even the slightest imperfection, the whole panel is sanded and sprayed again until it's perfect. Of course, as you saw at the beginning, the car has a lovely central stripe. However, the guys here are painting right over it. Don't worry though, the stripe will be back.
Once all of our orange paint is sprayed and there are no imperfections, we lay stencils that we took at the start of the process to mask out the stripe. This allows us to repaint the stripe exactly as to where it left in the factory. We then carefully position the stripe so that it's dead straight and then fix the stencil in place, allowing us to paint around it. It's also a benefit that we see so many of these cars with so many different liveries that every time a car does come to us, we actually take a template of it so that we can store it for future reference. These are one of the benefits of seeing so many of these amazing cars coming through our doors. Grey paint is carefully applied to the stripe, again making sure there are no impurities. This car is also quite unique in that many of the exterior trims such as the sills, which are normally plastic or carbon, are actually painted from the factory to match the colour of the stripe. These are painted in the same time to make sure that they are perfect and chip free. Next, the stencil is carefully removed after the paint has baked. Do this too quickly and you risk pulling the fresh paint with it. But the end result is the stripe has reappeared. The process isn't over though. All of the painted areas are now lacquered. This gives them their brilliant glossy finish and protects this paint colour. Because we've actually painted the stripe on top of the body colour, naturally it's raised up. It's on a different level essentially. We don't want there to be any change in height if you run your fingers across the stripe. It needs to be completely smooth and flush as it left the factory and in some cases even better. For this reason, after the clear coat, we sand every section with the stripe. and apply the clear coat again and again. This process is required several times to make sure that the stripe is impossible to feel after the sanding process has happened. The car is now looking good, but it's not to where the Topaz standard is. Naturally, where a car is painted, there is orange peel or paint distortion. This is where our level 5 signature treatment comes in. Daniel, our seasoned detailer, is starting the process of flattening and polishing the whole car. The first stage is to properly mask the car, including all the sensitive edges on the panels. We've just made the paint spotless, so we definitely don't want a cut through with the sander right now. Once the car is masked and looking a bit like something out of Tron, the sanding can begin. The process is to neutralize the peaks and troughs throughout the clear coat that cause the orange peel or paint distortion. These distortions disrupt the light that reflects off each panel, producing wavy reflections that don't do the color justice. The aim of this detail is to eradicate these by 99% giving near glass like reflections. You can even see in some of the shots, after the sander has passed over the paint, there are matte and gloss patches. This is due to the different heights in the clear coat. We have to continue over the car until they're at all level and there's no peaks or trots. Hard to reach and delicate areas also need to be sanded, but these are done by hand to guarantee that the car isn't damaged. You can probably appreciate by now that the level 5 is a fine art. This takes years of experience to master it, especially to our standard. 
After even more stages of sanding, including wet sanding with finer compounds, we're now happy that the paintwork is smooth and level. That's not the end of it though. The paint is effectively now covered in sanding marks, so they need to be removed. This is done by polishing, first using a rotary polisher to remove the sanding marks, Then it starts to restore the gloss of the paintwork and those fantastic reflections start to shine through. It's crucial that Daniel doesn't miss anything when doing this, as it will stick out like a sore thumb when the car is finished. Already the car is starting to shine like a Ferrari should, but we're not done yet. Next, a DA with a microfiber pad is used. This is to further refine the paint, removing fine scratches and holograms that might be left over. Again, this process is carried out all over the car. We actually make the level 5 look like a quite quick process in this video, but in real time it's around 100 man hours depending on the size of the car. The next stage of polishing removes the haze by using a medium abrasive compound to boost the gloss levels. You've got to remember anything that we do or don't do here will only be exaggerated when the paint protection film is installed. So it's super important to get it right. Finally the dueling stage, my favourite stage, is carried out all over the car. This jewels the paintwork making the gloss levels go through the roof, better even than the day it left the factory and ready to be protected. Small sections are gone over with a small polishing machine, again to guarantee no stone is left unturned. We didn't actually get a chance to film any of the PPF installation for you on this car, but I think you've watched enough already on this point. So after a final check, the car is given once over by our detailers and we are now ready to show you the final result.
And there you have it, guys. These are the type of videos that I love making because it shows you every single aspect of what we do here at Topaz. And some of it, was actually, we didn't have recording because the, the paint protection film, for example, when that was done on the car, we actually were going through the Christmas break, so we weren't able to capture it. But I think it's quite a long video anyway with all the content that we have already. So we thought, let's just not put that in anyway. We had a little bit, but let's not put that in. So let's do a recap of what exactly happened here. Um, first, uh, the car actually was purchased through an online auction uh, company, which is one of our friends, Mr. Edward Lovett, who actually has created this online platform, which is actually very, very cool. Check them out. They're called Collecting Cars, where you can go online and you can basically, it's an auction house, but it's done in a way where it doesn't cost a huge amount of money for the buyer or the seller. So it's a great way. It's a great concept. So make sure you go check it out. This car was actually purchased through that. And the new owner wanted to have the car spotless, as I mentioned at the beginning. Let's go through it. We've done repair work, so we actually repaired parts of this car. So there's areas where uh, the car had some stone chips, had a couple of scuffs here and there. That was also that was repaired. We obviously color matched the the, the Rosso Dino, which is a very unusual color to see now in modern modern Ferraris, um, and it was matched perfectly using the PPG system. After that, we then uh, went from painting it. We then decided to do a level five signature treatment on this car meaning that every single part of, in terms of the exterior, was corrected and every single panel was sanded down from start to finish, from edge to edge. And the reason why we did that is because we wanted to level off the clear coat to make sure that the reflection angle is as wide as possible. And these are the kind of things that we do, really, I mean, the intricate details, but it's all about the detail when it comes to whether you're specking a car or even when it comes to collecting the car and making it look absolutely fantastic from, from factory or when you're currently owning the car. So that was done. After that, we then obviously uh, did the paint protection film on the car to make sure it's all protected underneath. So all that goodness that we've done to the car is just kept inside and doesn't get damaged uh, because obviously the film is self-healing, meaning that you can, you can wash the car, even if you wash it incorrectly, uh, if, you have, if you have grit on the wash pad and you start, or the wash mitt and you start getting a bit of swell marks, after a while, put hot water or hot air and that will remove it. So, Again, the, it was the right thing to do for the car. The paintwork is a bit of a challenge actually because we had to use a stencil to, you see there's some stripes on the paintwork. We have to use our stencil that is basically a cross between paint protection film design and bodywork. And that's why it works so well when we have our body uh, shop business being right in the same location as our paint protection film business because they complement each other. The design aspect of our designer going there, measuring this stripe, making sure it's exactly perfect to another car that we've seen before. And because we see so many cars, you get to be, you're able to see all these different shapes and sizes and designs, which we take templates for. So we have the exact template. Uh, and then that transpires to it being repaired correctly. So we've got loads of more restoration projects actually coming to the channel. So I know you guys like watching that. And I can't tell you exactly which ones they are, but just keep your eyes peeled to the channel. Uh, we'll send you a notification, especially if you've got the bell. If you click on the bell, you'll get notified when our video gets launched and um, it's going to be an epic, epic one afterwards. So anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't be in front of the car specifically, and that's because, again, the car had to leave before I was available. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a lot. It's a long video. Uh, I'm sure you've had some snacks whilst you've been watching it. but. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.